Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a uh, Nernst heat theorem. And as we all know that uh, Nernst heat theorem is precursor of third law of thermodynamics. Before you study third law of thermodynamics, everyone needs to learn about uh, Nernst heat theorem. And uh, Nernst heat theorem it arises arised because of or it was led because of the conditions to find out the completion of reaction and it was given by gibbs hellman's equation and that is delta g is equal to delta h plus t differential of delta g upon dt at constant pressure now over here in this equation our second term that is t delta g upon dt is a finite quantity that is it has some value or it has some finite value now if we consider that our system is at absolute zero so at absolute zero the temperature of the system will be equal to zero or t will be equal to zero under such circumstances the second term in our equation that is a differential of delta g upon delta t will be equal to zero and hence we can write the change in the free energy or the, we can say change in the gibbs free energy will be equal to the enthalpy change and <coughs> in other words the above relation can be written as limit of temperature tends to zero delta g will be equal to limit of temperature tends to zero delta h that is ultimately both the things are the same now the above relation was experimentally proved by richard uh, richards by say, carrying out several experiments or by carrying out several measurements of emf of different cells at various temperatures that is uh, he performed several experiments by uh, measuring the potential of different cells at different temperature and he observed that the value of d delta g upon dt it decreases as the temperature of the system decreases and hence he concluded that delta g and delta h they approach each other as the temperature of the system is lowered now on this basis nernst he postulated the heat theorem and the heat theorem is given as the value of d delta g upon dt it approaches zero as the temperature of the system it moves towards absolute zero that means d delta g upon dt it approaches zero as we can say the temperature of system it is lowered towards absolute zero and this statement it is known as nernst heat theorem now it is known as nernst heat theorem basically because we are taking the heat out of system and as we are taking heat out to the heat out of the system the temperature of the system falls and as the temperature of the system falls the value of change in free energy with the respect to temperature it decreases and as this value decrease as this value uh, uh, as this value approaches zero and hence uh, the whole this statement is known as nernst heat theorem now not only this value it approaches zero but also the change in the free energy as well as the change in the entropy also approaches zero and that can be uh, shown the diagram or it can be shown by uh, following graphical representation that is suppose if we plot a graph or a plot of a temperature versus delta g or delta h we can see that the value of delta h decreases and value of delta h increases and they will meet as each other or they will be equal to each other at absolute zero so gradually as we decrease the temperature of any system then the value of uh, change in free energy with respect to temperature it 
approaches zero and simultaneously the free and the change in the free energy of the system as well as the entropy of the system it also decre decreases and at absolute zero both will be equal to each other the mathematical form of nernst heat theorem it can be written as limit of <coughs> sorry t tends to zero d delta g upon dt is equal to limit of t tends to zero d delta h upon dt and both this will be equal to zero at absolute zero so this is the so this is the mathematical form of a uh, nernst heat theorem and this is the statement of the nernst heat theorem again i will repeat that is uh, the value of differential of delta g upon delta t approaches zero gradually as the temperature of the system is lowered towards absolute zero and mathematically it can be written in this way thank you for watching the video and uh, i hope nernst heat theorem is clear to you thank you